so I did it. Uh, it's a month late almost, but I mean, last year I was almost a year late, or I was basically a year late. But I finished it in less than a year, so <laughs> that's a plus. <laughs> I wanted to give up so many times because it was just, I uh, just, yeah. <sighs> but I am happy with a few of these, so let's have a look see, shall we? I made this little book like I did the 2019 version. I stuck this small piece of umbrella cloth, which I thought was really cute, just in there, and a prompt list with some washi tape, what I thought was really cute. <clears throat> The first prompt was fish and I had this idea in my head where I was going to use my OCs Zuri, Luca and Abe for the whole of Inktober and that didn't last very long but I am happy I did it like that in the beginning but I'm happier with some of the stuff afterwards so you guys will see that soon. The second prompt was wisp and they look terrible their body proportions are way off and this is what happens when you lie down <laughs> to do art like you can't see what you're doing properly the third day was bulky and I drew kind of like a snow day which I noticed now I drew grass here and snow here so it was half a storm I suppose I don't know so I just gave them a lot of clothes and made them look all bulky um yeah and then it was radio, so Abe and Luca are tormenting Zuri while she's trying to make herself breakfast and she's just she's just done with them. They're just too much. Um I really like how her face turned out in this one. And then it was blade, so I drew them hiding from maybe a serial killer or something. Um but Zuri's got her own blade and they're hoping he just passes by and doesn't enter. Um <laughs> This was interesting, and these little thingies in the door took forever to do. For Rodent, I didn't have a lot of ideas of what I wanted to do, but I did remember when I was younger we had a school play where we dressed as rats and climbed through a wall or something. It was weird. It, then it looked super boring, so I added the graffiti, which I'm happy with, and I wish I'd have done more of it, because this red actually is super cool. Um fancy i just decided to throw them into a happy new year party and look i didn't have any suits that fit them so i had to borrow maybe from a friend or from his parents um this is the suit's a bit bulky on him and then for zuri i just gave her like a very plain cocktail dress and a he's just a fancy ghost for teeth i drew uh them smiling obviously and Abe doesn't have teeth so he's just kind of doing his weird side smoke <laughs> and then for throw again don't lie down and draw bodies because if you can't see what you're doing properly you're going to draw them weirdly out of perspective but for throw I just drew Zuri teaching Luca how to throw a ball because yeah mm. and then this is where i stopped doing the oc thing and just added another character um this little girl for hope maybe her name is also hope and she's sitting next to a pillow that says hope and she broke her arm but there's hope for her arm to get better <laughs> i don't know <laughs> something like that and disgusting i quite like how these guys turned out they're just these weird little monsters like a kid's imaginative because I swear, if when I was younger, I would have imagined something like this hiding under my bed. But I drew them happy because if you draw anything goofy, it's cute. <laughs> well, not anything, but most things. And then I drew a slime monster from somebody's adventure. But they didn't win because the slime monster gobbled up his hand and the sword and the adventurous apple and his map. So good luck to that adventurer. <clears throat> For Slippery, I drew this super skinny woman and her pet snail <coughs> that is humongous and a little goat in a floaty in a swimming pool, maybe on TV. The snail likes the show. Um, yeah. And then for Dune, I 
kind of went for like a post-apocalyptic type of world um, where the survivors mock where they live, their house is red so the people know okay this place has been taken but this guy wanted to see if anybody does still live there because that looks like there could be something salvageable inside. Armor, I <coughs> decided to draw to students. I'm just going to say they're like maybe a secret organization and they're students and they have to learn to fight. So they are wearing their armor so that they don't get too gravely injured. And then Outpost can maybe go with this world, the Dune world. And this is the Outpost for the military type survivors and this is them coming home with a futuristic little flying car thingy um yeah and then rocket i really enjoyed this one because it was super cute to do it's kind of like tattooey but um this is when i realized i really like the red with the gray and white and it just works nicely for storm I just drew like a little potion bottle with a flower. The flower I added afterwards because it looked very empty. And I thought it was super cute. In the back I did draw about like I think two geese in like a stormy situation or the calm before the storm. But they didn't come out very nice so eh. And then for trap I drew Ziggy from um, Ishness. She's on TikTok and TikTok is a trap because I'll sit there for seven hours and then realize like oh wow wh where's my life gone <laughs> um yeah but i like this this um oc character and for dizzy i just drew a very 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 dizzy little turtle that i don't know maybe he drank too much salt water or something if he does drink salt water coral i absolutely detest it because i didn't know I didn't, I did not know what to do, so I didn't do a lot, I didn't put a lot of effort into it, but I'm quite happy with the texture of these um, coral sponges, <laughs> where everything grows off of, and then for sleep, I think this is one of my favourites, because she's just kind of like sleeping in mid-air, with the highlights and everything, focus, come on, yeah, but I like this one. And then for Chef, I drew a bug that cooked some spaghetti and a pink chicken leg. Um, I don't know why it's pink, but yeah, he's got his little stall open at the fair and he's waiting for people to come buy pasta and chicken. For Rest in Peace, I just drew the apple from Snow White and a uh, hand holding it. I forgot to shade the thumb appropriately so just let's just ignore that and then for deck i was a little bit burnt out here but i decided to do potato monsters and she's digging up her newborns because they're potato monsters so there's two other families that can come dig up their potato babies as well and they've already got three and now they have four more <laughs> it's gonna be a full house of little potatoes which <laughs> i think is adorable i just like to redraw them as actual potato looking creatures uh, <clears throat> for buddy i decided to do a basic stencil of my hand and just a little cat ball inside which i thought was cute because you know high five your cat it's it's adorable. <laughs> I don't have a cat, so I have five other people's cats. And then for hide, I drew this tiny little rat creature hiding in a little teacup. <laughs> um, for music, it's this little guy whose mind got blown by a new song, and he's just been listening to it on repeat for the past seven hours, and just some basic music notes. I think this is my favorite out of the entire sketchbook and it took me the least amount of time but I really like this um this one was float so yeah and then shoes I didn't know what to do so I drew this weird little alien fairy creature who's expecting a little alien creature and she just put the little shoes on her belly and then a weird shoe design 
Omninus I put in Inktober 2021 um because my mind said put in October 2021 that that's what happened there and then for crawl I just did a cutie pie little baby and yeah I had a couple of pages left over so I just did some random <laughs> weird nasty doodles and so I started on the 1st of October and ended it today on 21 November and it's close to midnight now so yeah like I said a month is better than almost a year to finish it so I'm happy just next year I'll, I'll, I'll probably hopefully put in more effort into my sketchbook and <laughs> Anyway guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider subscribing and liking my channel. Uh, subscribing to my channel, liking this video. And I will see you guys. Or well, not see you all. I will see you. Next video is 100 ways to fill a sketchbook. And I've been working on it. And hopefully it's going to be interesting for you guys. Because it sure is interesting for me. <laughs> Bye. Thank you for watching.